Hey everyone, well, I thought I'd do a quick video of uh, the only quartz watch in my collection. Uh, I find it fascinating that despite having Patrick Philippe and Audemars Piguet and Rolex watches, uh, I'm shocked at how much wrist time that this simple G-Shock gets. Um, and I really, really like it. It's probably one of the cheapest G-Shocks that you can get. Um, and it's, I think you could even call this a perpetual calendar because you set the year on it and then it corrects the day, the date, the month. And uh, so, yeah, uh, it's pretty cool that way. Uh, it's got an alarm timer, stopwatch, and it's even got a light. So this is probably the most practical watch in my collection because uh, I wear it when, whenever really. Um, um, I think in modern times I've seen people wearing simple G-Shocks with suits and ties. Um, I personally don't but I'd wear this watch, uh, say, if I was messing around with the cars or just doing a bit of housework or just, you know, sometimes you don't want to wear a watch that's a few thousand dollars worth and you just want to wear a watch that you don't really have to mind as such. Um, so, yeah, out of all the G-Shocks, I've had a couple of different versions and I think... Uh, this is probably the most true to the original uh, without spending crazy money and getting sort of first editions. Uh, I think I picked this up on Amazon for about 70 or 80 dollars when it was on offer. Um, and I really love it. Um, it's got this indestructible, almost indestructible case. Um, really nice on the wrist, good size. It's not too big um, and it's got a rather thin profile compared to all other G-Shocks so if you did want to wear this with say with sleeves you could still pull it off and uh, yeah so if you if you cycle to work and you don't want to scratch up your expensive uh, Daytona uh, this is a great option. So, look, this was just a fun video, uh, again, to show that uh, you don't have to have uh, ultra-complicated watches um, and not be able to enjoy uh, a simple old G-Shock. Uh, I think, actually, most watch collectors out there probably do own a G-Shock uh, as their beta watch I said call it um, yeah so there it is the humble G-Shock a must have I think in any watch collection thanks for watching